Welcome back to the introductory course on how to use Canvas as a teacher. This video is going to show you how to create an assignment. So I'm going to come in here to this introductory course and you will see this is all still blank. I haven't created a home page yet. So assignments is empty. I'm going to click on assignments. It's gray because there were none. I want to point out a couple of things before we move on. You can create groups for your assignments. So a lot of people have different ways that they group their assignments. Some people may want to group them by the six week grading periods. That will allow you to put things into those six week grading periods and because the course itself will be based on the semester that comes over from Aries. Another option is if you have types of assignments. I used to have a weekly vocabulary assignment and then I would have writing assignments and then I would have basic homework. I may want to create those groups. So that's an option for you in here. So it's kind of like categories in Aries. I also have this search box. As you start to have more and more assignments, you may want to search for something to go back and find it. So think about this as you're adding assignments. You probably don't want to just do them by date. You may want to include what the actual assignment is going to be part of the content. You might want to include the date as well if that's how you organize your pieces. So I'm going to click on add assignment and I'm going to title this assignment. So this is going to be an assignment I did with my seniors. It's called the Rhetorical Precise. Um, it's not the most beautiful assignment that I ever created, but it is what it is. Um, so that's the title of the assignment. So I'm going to provide the instructions. Please read or actually review. Review the reading material and complete the rhetorical precise according to the instructions in the slides below. I could add a link here to the reading material if I wanted. I could add a link or something to a YouTube video if I wanted. What I am going to add here is actually going to be, I have two ways I'm going to add it. I'm going to show you both ways. I'm going to add a link to my Google Slides and then I am also going to embed my Google Slides and I'm going to show you what both things look like. So right here I'm going to create a link. So rhetorical precise slides. This is the text that my students are going to see and I am going to highlight that. Okay, I actually have the link saved right here. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to copy that. Okay, and now that's highlighted. I copied. I'm going to add a link and control V paste. There's that. See how it turned to blue when it shows you that yellow right there. So that will be a link for students. Another option, and I'm going to leave both options here, is I'm going to add some embed code. This sounds really complicated, but it is not. I've added all of my text instructions. If I wanted pictures, I would add them now and get to where I want my embedded slides to go right here where my cursor is. That means all of the fancy behind the scenes stuff is already done. I'm going to switch over to the HML editor. And you can see the text is in there. All of the formatting is done. And I don't want to deal with any of that. I have my cursor down here where I want it. So I'm going to go snag the embed code that I saved from my Google Slides from the share. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to copy that. And now I just want to paste it here. That's done. Now I'm just going to click back over to the rich content editor and you will see that there's a box here to show me that I've embedded something. Until it actually publishes, we won't be able to see it, but it is there and I will show you the student view when we are done. So then we have the extra pieces to come in here. We have points because it's an assignment. We're going to assign points. Um, groups. So this is where you can assign it to a different group. Since I don't have any, I can create a group from here if I have a new group I'm creating, or I would have other groups already sitting there. How I want this to display to students once I've graded it, that they got a percentage, complete, incomplete, points, letter, GPA. That way, 
Students will see things as you want them to see it. Okay, coming down here, we've got a couple of other options. We've got this box here about do not count this assignment towards the final grade. Sometimes we need students to do something, but it really shouldn't count towards their grade. So you can assign something. It will show up in their to-do list. It will give them a deadline. It will show up on their calendar. It will get done. It will get graded. They'll see how they did, but you don't want it to count towards a grade. So that's that box if you have something like that. Um, submission time. You've got four different types of submission. Um, the default is an online submission. We also have no submission. Sometimes maybe you have students doing something that they're not going to turn anything in for. Maybe it is an oral presentation and you're going to grade it as you go, but they're not actually going to turn anything in. So that would be no submission. Online is the type of submission that we're doing here. It will have a rich text editor and students have lots of options for how they answer, including a video, but that is still considered online. On paper, because we're still going to ask students to do things on paper. Just because we're using an LMS does not mean everything changes, nor should it. Students still need to write things down, turn things in. That's how that goes. Um, another option is an external tool. This is if students are going to complete something in Quizlet or if it is something from your publisher. Many of the publishers with their online components, those are external tools and they can access them through Canvas. That makes life so much simpler than having students go off to another website, have another login, have to do things there, have you have to go find them there. So it can all be inside of Canvas. So I'm going to click on online and then online. I have four different options as well. So text entry, like I said, means they get that rich text box that is up above. Um, a website URL, whoop, whoop, come back here. Website URL is if you have students who are completing something and their work is online. Maybe they created a website. Maybe it's a Google Doc and you have them submitting their share link. Uh, maybe it's a Padlet. There's a lot of different ways that students might have a URL to turn in to show you what they've done. Media recordings is audio or video off of their device. And a file upload is uploading a file. Maybe it's an essay. Maybe it's a screenplay. Maybe it's a PowerPoint. So that would be uploading a completed final draft version of something for you to review. So there are those options. Lots of different ways to collect work. So then we have group assignment. If you've created groups, you can assign things to different groups. You can assign things to where you're going to accept one submission for an entire group, but then that entire group will get all the points. So this gradebook is set up to do that with you. Uh, peer reviews. You can have students peer review. There's different ways you can do that. You can assign who reviews whose work. Um, you can have Canvas assign it automatically. And then you can also check this box to where when students have to review, everything is anonymous. So if you want things to be anonymous, remember to click that box. I'm going to uncheck this right now. Okay. Moderated grading allows you to review multiple independent grades for selected submissions. I'm going to be honest and tell you I'm not sure what that is. Um, now this box is who you are assigning this assignment to. When you create an assignment, you have choices of who it goes to most of the time. It's going to go to everyone. However, maybe you have one class that is going to a third period assembly and they need to be held accountable for that. And then you have another second and fourth period who aren't going to the assembly, so they have a different assignment. So this is a way for you to create an assignment and only assign it to the correct uh, students. Because I don't have sections and because I don't have groups, those options aren't popping up for me automatically. But if I had groups created, they would be there. Or if I had sections, they would be there. Mastery paths is a really interesting thing that we're going to look at separately. So this is who it's assigned to, the due date, and also when it's available. So when students will be able to see this and get to the details. You may want to close it. You may not want it available until the day that you actually want them to work on it so that students aren't getting into your content early. That is entirely up to you. I'm going to click Save and Publish here. That way we can look at it from the student view. So there it is, and you can actually see the slides here, and they can click through them, find the instructions. 
So now I want to switch over to student view. I like to know how the kids see things. So the student view is in the settings and up here to student view. And I want to go to assignments. Okay, so I have this one assignment here. It's worth 15 points. It's going to let me open it up. And now I can see what the students see. Please review the reading material, complete the assignment according to the instructions, and the instructions are in here. And then up here is the button for submit. So students will click that, and then they get this entry form. Okay. So they can add their content. They have the text editing features. They can add a link. They can add a picture. They can do lots of different pieces. So I'm going to scroll down. Okay, and then they click Submit Assignment. Once they submit the assignment, it shows up in your to-do list as an assignment to be graded. All right, so I'm going to go exit the student view. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great day.